Hello everyone, I'm Gina from the Embroidery Zone and I also have a, a, an Etsy shop. It's called Embroideries by Embroidery Zone Designs and in that shop I sell um, embroidery files, custom digitizing, and SVG files. But one question um, I get a lot from people tend to have a little difficulty downloading SVG files and I'm going to explain how to do that and why um, you may be having trouble. So I'm just going to click on um, this particular file. This is an SVG file and if you had purchased this you would um, receive a link from Etsy where you can download the zip file. I'm doing this on my back end just so I can grab the zip file to show you how it works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download this file. And now that I've done that, I have the zip file. It's downloaded onto my computer and I'm going to open it, click on it, and you can see all the items that are in here. But right here, this very last one, there's a DXF file, an EPS, a PDF file, and then right here it says Microsoft Edge HTML document. I'm going to slide this over so you can see this is actually the SVG file. But if I were to click on this right now, which I'll do, I'll double click on it and open it up, what's happening is the, com the computer is looking for um, a program to open that file and because it doesn't know what an SVG file is, it doesn't have an assigned program for that, it just goes, it opens up as an HTML document. So you may be thinking that the SVG file is not there, but trust me, it is. <laughs> so what you need to do is extract, oops, I'm over on the other screen, extract everything and I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Select folder, extract, and let's go to my desktop, and here it is again. So uh, again, it appears to be a Microsoft Edge document, but it is, you can see here, the last three um, letters are .svg. Now again, if even though it's on my desktop, if I were to double click on that, it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to open up in Internet Explorer or whatever your, your default program is. But if I were to open my program, let's say I'm going to use Cricut Design Space. Let's open up Cricut. So let me slide this over here. So now, oops, I'm off screen, I'm sorry, a little bit. So now I'm signed into Cricut and Design Space and I'm going to open up a new project. And I'm going to upload that SVG file. I'm going to browse over here, go to my desktop where I unzipped that and grab this SVG and open that and I'm going to upload that and there it is and I'm going to insert that image into my space and there you have it. Thank you. I hope that uh, helps you understand how to open those files and if you have any problems you can email me or message me in the Etsy conversation area and I can help you through it. Thanks so much.